Bloomberg, 14th of August 2022. Beijing is warning India not to reiterate the unconstitutional One China principle. To bolster regional support following U.S. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's visit to Taiwan, which sparked intense military drills by the Chinese military near the island, Beijing wants India to reaffirm the One China policy. Sun Weidong, China's ambassador to India, wrote on the embassy's website, We hope that the Indian side might openly repeat its One China policy like many other countries. The political cornerstone of China-India relations is the One China principle, according to him, more than 170 nations and international organizations have reaffirmed their dedication to the principle. India adheres to the One China policy. It exclusively recognizes the Beijing administration but hasn't mentioned this in bilateral agreements or public remarks in a while. Following the deadliest border confrontations between the two nations in 40 years in 2020, public opinion of China has deteriorated. In contrast to other nations in the region and the G7, including the US, the UK, Japan, and Germany, the South Asian nation's deliberate ambiguity and unwillingness to reaffirm the principle stand out. In a statement released last month, the G7 foreign ministers stated that there had been no change to the One China policy or Taiwan-related issues. Association of Southeast Asian Nations members has reiterated that only Beijing is recognized. When asked about the tension surrounding Taiwan, Arindam Bogchi, a Ministry of External Affairs spokesman, responded on Friday, India's related policies are well known and consistent. To maintain the status quo, India encouraged all parties to exhibit prudence. Since 2008, when Beijing made several statements alleging Arunachal Pradesh in eastern India and some Jammu and Kashmir people had received stapled visas, New Delhi has avoided discussing the policy in public. The Chinese military has conducted military drills to demonstrate its capacity to encircle the island and cut off the Taiwan Strait one of the busiest commerce routes in the world, in response to Pelosi's visit to Taiwan. Ambassador Sun reaffirmed China's official stance that Pelosi and the U.S. were entirely to blame for the unease around Taiwan and Beijing's response, which included military exercises and sanctions against Pelosi. China must release the occupied Akshai Chin area to India and reduce deployment along the Indian border if she wants peace with that country. China must deal with the repercussions of her misadventure in India.